thank God for helping us and keeping us. Welcome to our fourth video online learning. Uh, to take us and to begin this lesson, you do remember the song that we sang in our last lesson. It was about a mango tree. There are things we didn't make. This uh, what color is the tree on top here? What color is this tree? Color green. Well, also in our last lesson, remember I told you that I'll take you through some words that are sounding the same. They have the same sound and these are two. Two and two. Let's begin with two. Break the sound. Two o. Oh. Now, this small word means toward. For example, there's a girl, a beautiful girl, wearing uniform. And what is she saying? going to school. So to means toward, going toward somewhere or something. And in this case, I am going to school. So this girl is going to school. Another meaning is auntie. Now this girl is going to school from Monday to Friday until Friday. And today she's going to school from this hour to evening. Another meaning is direction. Direction where are you going? For example, we have two houses that resembles here. This is house A and house B. So, in, an, in a sentence, I am going to house B. I'm going from house A to house B. And finally, goal. For example, what is the purpose of us learning reading skills? Is so that at the end of this lesson, you learners should be able to. We are using the word to. Know how to identify letters and read three-lettered words. So our second word is to. Break the sound. T o o. Two. It means also. For example, in a sentence, this girl is singing. This boy is singing. So we can say she sings. This girl sings. Also, we can say he too can sing. He is a boy. She is a girl. So the girl can sing and he too, this boy, can sing. The other meaning of the word to is excess. Say after me, Lana, excess. Excess in this case, do you see a bucket of water? And there was, there's a tap pouring water into the bucket. So we can say there is too much water in the bucket. So also too means more. So we can say there is too much. So more water in the bucket. Excess means something is more than enough. For example, this water is full in this bucket and now it is pouring down. That means excess. Lastly, two or oh, two. Another two, meaning of uh, the third word two, is a number. Two is a number. In this case, two 
it is it follows after one so when you say one the number that follow is two so we have I've written for you two two and we've done some pictures for you Lana do you like these pictures wow they are so great so let us count number two one two two ducks one two ducks now let's go to cups how many cups are there one two two cups and lastly we have beautiful flowers let's count one two two flowers now i've answered what i promised you last from the last lesson now as we begin today's lesson we are going to say a poem and this poem is about rains do you know what is rains rains is falling from the sky and you see vehicles are inside the water that rains have caused and we are going to look into green grass trees house tops umbrella and a man rushing away because it is raining so let's say the poem rains on the green grass rains on the trees rains on the house top but not upon me but not upon me again rains on the green grass rains on the trees rains on the house top but not upon me so whenever it is raining it is not supposed to rain on you you are supposed to carry an umbrella okay lana thank you very much come with me as we review some charts on the wall you're going to watch our last video we did some sentence of our sound words did you remember let's do one a cat has a rat so i expect you to read as fast as that now we did some words of our sound and that is a what well that was so we did up what that is nap gap we did some pictures do you see these pictures of our sound hat tap man van you remember them in our last topic and then we did the uppercase letters a b C, we were uh, relating them to lowercase letters which are the similar when you're naming but in, when you're in this case we sounded upper lowercase and we named the uppercase that is a sound a ah. b sound b keep on reading the letters thank you lana Now we've done the our sound pictures. We did the other family of arm words, our sound, and you keep on reading those words and get to know them better. Now, into our today's lesson, we've come to another sound. Do you remember our vowels? Vowels are three are five letters from the alphabet and that is a a e o a and we've gone we finish with a vowel words we are going to a vowel words and i've come up with blends syllables you remember these are syllables they are blends so we are going to read the a sound blends read after me lana a B D F G H J K 
le me ne pen re se te ve wen ye ze and lana for example if i ask you to read for me this syllable and you are unable to read don't keep quiet learn to break the sounds just say b e say after me b e and then you join b okay let's go back to the table and read some a sound words So this is a sound words and we are going to be sounding words from the same that are rhyming the same uh, they have the same rhymings at the end and this we are calling them family words and in this case we are beginning with a t I'm going to use a pointer repeat after me lana So let's go and read this one. B e t b e t bed bed e t e t fed fed r e t r e t red red now read faster bed fed red well done lana let's go to family of egg what l egg l egg leg leg
Well done. Babies, words that end with and and. Now let's start reading. Lana, I have an activity for you. Can you read this word for me? Did you read pen? Good. Read this one. Men. Did you read men? Well done. Read this word for me. This one. Did you read 10? Well done! Read this one for me again. Did you read hen? Well done, Lana. Well, you've done well. Congratulations. Now, do you remember our last lesson assignment? Did your parent mark for you? Well, I marked, someone marked for me and gave me two stars and wrote the word good. So this was good work. Well, I want to finish up with an assignment where, where you'll ask mommy or daddy to write the uppercase letters H up to V and W up to Z. And then write the lowercase letters mixing them so that we can match. So can you read our instruction? Match uppercase letters with lowercase letters. So we are going to sound the lowercase letters, but we are going to name the uppercase letter. This is letter H. Sound H. Where is sound H? Yeah? There. So let's match. Letter I sound E. Match. Letter J sound J. Match. Letter K sound K. Letter L sound L. We sound L. Wow, sound L is here. So let's match. Letter L and sound L. Letter M sound N. We sound N. It is here. Letter N sound N. Sorry, Lana. Teacher has done a mistake here. Letter M sound N. Then letter N sound N. Letter O sound O. Letter P sound P. Letter Q sound Q. Letter R sound R. Letter S sound S. Letter T sound T. Letter U sound Where is A? There. Letter V sound V. Wow, this was much work. So today, 
Your assignment is a lot of work. Sit with mom or dad down. Let him write for you these uppercase letters and this mix these lower, lowercase letters so you can match, match and let her or him match a mark for you. Thank you, Lana, for participating in our lesson today. Let's wind up with the same lesson because out of A sound words, I've come up with a few sentences for us to read today. And I would like us to go on our chat and read out these sentences. I also came up with pictures of A sound. So let's read the pictures first. Bed. Here is that bed. Bell. Do you know a bell? It is run in school. Egg. Do you like eating an egg? Hen. Man. Remember when man, man is one person, but when there are two or more, we call them men. Net. Web. Pen. Vest. Ten. Number ten. Now, the sentence of A sound. Number one. A. Hen. Has. Eggs. Let, let us read faster. A hen has eggs. A. Rat. Has. Legs. A rat has legs. Number three. Let the men get a net. Faster. Let the men get a net. Number four. It is a red jet. Faster. It is a red jet. Number five. A wet hen has eggs. Read faster. A wet hen has eggs. Well done, Lana. Thank you so much for participating to our lesson today. And do you remember about our Bible story? Well, there's so much to learn in our Bible story. We learned about thank you, and we said this is a magic word. And we learned about sharing. We'll go back to thank you. Did you know when, when the two disciples of Jesus in this big meeting went and fetched this small boy with his lunch, when he took this small basket from the boy that contained uh, two fishes and uh, five loaves of bread, Jesus took that uh, small basket and he lifted it to our heavenly Father and he said, thank you. And you know when Jesus said thank you and blessed this bread, they became, uh, the, 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 the bread multiplied into very many, many bread and fishes. And these people were able to feed. And therefore, when you learn to say thank you, you will experience increase in your life. When you thank God for knowing how to read get, and you do not know how to read the rest of the, of the, of the words, when you thank God for that one word you've learned today, it will make you remember many other words we've learned throughout this lesson, ever since we began this lesson. And therefore, on that note, I would like us to pray and thank God. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you so much. It's now the fourth video that we are producing in this online lesson, and we are grateful for this for you helped us. Thank you for this learner and guardian and the parents that are watching these lessons each and every time they are released. Bless the learners. Give them mind of Christ. Let them remember everything by your help, Holy Spirit. And we are thanking you, Lord, for this situation. You are normalizing everything. 
We are seeing your hands in the nations of the world. You are seeing your hands in our governments and the people at large. People are going back to work. Lord, there are their technology that has come up that our learners are able to learn from the comfort of home. Lord, we want to thank you for this. We bless this lesson today. We ask you for help in learning. We ask you for help in various needs we have. Lord, we ask that you help our governments in the nations of the world. We ask that you help us all through to the glory and honor of your name. We thank you because you've answered our prayer this day. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And parents, remember, this is God's channel, our channel for children's learning. Hashtag alias learning skills. Please, parent, guardian out there, remember to like, subscribe, share, and click on the notification button for the new video updates. Thank you so much. Bye.